the automotive industry is currently undergoing a significant shift in direction, marking a substantial departure from the optimistic trajectory of the past few years. This period was characterized by a fervent embrace of electrification, driven by high hopes and grand ambitions. However, reality has now delivered a sobering blow, manifesting in the form of frozen electric vehicles, EVs, malfunctioning chargers, and widespread job cuts. These developments serve as unmistakable signs of what many perceive as the impending collapse of the EV market. Let's delve into the reasons behind this seismic shift. Number six, frozen EVs and malfunctioning chargers. Recent scenes depicting EVs stranded and immobilized at charging stations underscore the limitations and challenges inherent in electric vehicles, particularly in cold weather conditions. Last month, a lot of electric vehicles had a difficult time charged in Chicago because of extreme negative weather temperature. It was measured at negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit, 9.44 degrees Celsius. By the way, I have a masterclass that shows you how to maintain and prolong your vehicle. The link is down in the description. And I also have some free stuff for you too. The link is down in the description. Now back to the video. The performance of batteries suffers in low temperatures, leading to a significant decrease in claimed range and rendering many EVs unable to reach their intended charging destinations. Chargers also grapple with cold weather, resulting in prolonged charging times and exacerbating anxiety among EV drivers regarding the reliability of charging infrastructure. Number 5. Revisions in Manufacturer Strategic Plans Recently, numerous automakers were steadfast in their commitment to the EV transition, rushing to secure advantageous positions in the burgeoning market. Even industry giants like General Motors, under the leadership of figures like Mary Barra, boldly proclaimed their intentions for full electrification by 2035. However, subsequent revisions to these optimistic plans reflect a cooling of market sentiment. The primary driver behind these revisions lies in the lackluster demand for EVs among consumers, who remain unconvinced of the value proposition offered by current offerings. For instance, General Motors' vision of selling 1 million EVs annually by 2026 now appears far-fetched, with current sales falling significantly short. Consequently, production delays and scaled-back targets are becoming the new norm as companies grapple with lukewarm consumer enthusiasm. Number 4. Job Losses and Production Reductions Despite an uptick in EV sales, growth has failed to meet lofty expectations, prompting automakers to readjust their production targets downwards. These adjustments inevitably trigger a chain reaction, resulting in widespread job losses across the industry, as evidenced by recent cutbacks at Ford. The transition away from electric pickups towards gasoline-powered models further compounds these workforce challenges, necessitating the reassignment of affected employees. For example, the production targets for the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning have been halved, resulting in job cuts at the company's Michigan plant. While some employees may be redeployed to other projects, the overall outlook for employment in the EV sector is uncertain, with job losses looming large. Number 3. Profitability Challenges in the EV Sector While noble in its environmental aspirations, the EV industry remains fundamentally driven by economic imperatives. Presently, EV manufacturers grapple with profitability issues as high production costs and intense market competition erode margins. Despite significant investments in new technologies, manufacturers are yet to optimize production processes, resulting in continued losses on every EV sold. Market pressures to offer competitive prices and discounts have further strained manufacturers' finances, leading some to run out of investment capital and slow down production. Examples from Ford and General Motors illustrate the financial strain, with both companies postponing major EV projects to conserve capital. Notably, it's not just manufacturers experiencing financial losses. Rental car companies like Hertz are also affected, partly due to the poor resale value of electric vehicles. Number 2. Dominance of SUVs and Trucks Market the evolving automotive landscape increasingly favors SUVs and pickup trucks, 
which collectively command over 80% of the market. Electric pickups, crucial for the American market, lag behind traditional gas and diesel counterparts in towing and hauling capabilities, despite being quicker. While there are some large and practical electric SUVs on the market, they remain expensive and out of reach for many consumers. This poses a challenge for EVs, which historically have struggled to match the practicality and utility offered by traditional internal combustion vehicles. While there are promising developments in the electric SUV segment, the outlook for electric pickups remains less optimistic given their inferior towing capacity and practical limitations. And number one, government support concerns. Despite ambitious government targets for EV adoption, recent policy shifts and infrastructure challenges cast doubt on the feasibility of rapid electrification. The government's role in supporting EV adoption is critical, with the Biden administration aiming for two-thirds of new cars to be electric by 2032. Changes in tax credit eligibility and delays in charging infrastructure deployment raise questions about the efficacy of government interventions. Despite allocating funds for charging infrastructure, not a single charger was built last year, prompting speculation about potential shifts in electrification policies. The lack of tangible progress in infrastructure development suggests a potential re-evaluation of fast electrification plans, signaling uncertainty for the future of EV adoption. The automotive industry finds itself at a critical juncture, grappling with the complexities and uncertainties surrounding the transition to electric mobility. Frozen EVs, shifting market dynamics, and policy ambiguities underscore the formidable challenges ahead. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, and you can watch this video next on your screen. By the way, I have a masterclass that shows you how to maintain and prolong your vehicle. The link is down in the description. And I also have some free stuff for you too. The link is down in the description. Now back to the video.